It's just not possible for every update for Luminar Neo to be the best update yet. However, it seems like Skylum are giving it a pretty good go. In this video, let's take a look at what's coming in Luminar Neo with the big fall update. There's a lot to be excited about. We've got improvements to the catalog, new AI tools, new ways of making selections as well. But at the same time, there's one area where I really feel like Luminar or Skylum have missed a trick. So we're gonna cover all of that in this video. True to their words, Skylum are continuing to invest in and improve Luminar Neo, which is great news for us as photo editors. But one of the things that seems to have changed is their approach to updates. They were kind of drip feeding incremental updates, whereas now it seems like they're saving a lot of really cool stuff up and just smashing us with this big mama update. And I really like that because in this particular update, we've got some really practical and usable features, but also some really creative tools as well. And I'm not talking about the stupid gimmicky creative tools that they're just randomly throw at us every now and again. Comment below if you remember those assets we could add to our photos. Who remembers the hot air balloon and the giraffe? <laughs> now, before we kick things off with one of the tools I'm most excited about, which is Color Transfer AI, I've got to preface this by saying I do not have a working beta copy at the moment. I have recorded versions that were done on a Mac M1 machine by one of the developers at Luminar, and that is the footage that I'll be sharing with you as I explain the tools. However, I have seen many of these tools and tech Apparently I just hit my walking steps for the day. Stop wiggling your arms around so much, Anthony. I have seen a lot of these tools work firsthand when I was visiting the Azores and I had the opportunity to actually sit down with some of the developers. So I have had firsthand experience of seeing some of these technologies in action. Now the magic of this first tool is all about one of my favorite topics, which is color grading. Think of your favorite movies ever and that beautiful bespoke look that that imagery has. That is the specific color palette that is beautifully injected into every frame of that film. And the eggheads at Sky, sorry, developers at Skylum have given us a tool that allows us to steal, sorry, borrow the colors from our favorite images, favorite movies, and actually put them into our own photos. It's a beautiful thing. So to find the tool, we just go into the creative section and color transfer AI. From there, you choose a reference selection. Luminar is gonna come preloaded with some of those. When you click on it, it's gonna take a little time to do a bit of processing. As I say, this is done on M1 Mac, and there you see it's applied those colors to your photo. We have transition smoothing, color smoothing, and other slider-based options to control the look. So there you see a nice before and after. But the real magic happens, I think, when we actually load our own reference images in. And then we can steal the colors from that reference image. So here's one from June, for example, and we're going to apply it into this sand dune scene. Again, there's a little calculation time. And there you go, we have those colors applied. Currently it's mapping color to color, tone to tone, but one of the great things is we actually have AI that is gonna recognize different objects in the scene. So in this case, when we turn on object color mapping AI, it's going to actually recognize where certain elements are, such as the sky in this one, and closer match that sky to your reference image sky. Now, while we're talking about color, that is a great segue into Luminar Neo's new selection tool, which is selecting by color. Now, that might not seem like a big deal, but it is. If you follow any of my editing videos or you have been editing for some time, you will know the importance of being able to select individual areas and components within our photo so that we can specifically alter just that one thing. Now, the more selection tools that we have available to us, the better off we are. And of course, we've got traditional selection tools like the brush, radial mask, gradients. We've also got great AI selection tools as well. And in the last update, we saw the fantastic addition of luminosity masks. And for me, I feel like color selection masks are the final piece of the puzzle in terms of giving us the full gamut of tools, allowing us to make selections in our photos with ultimate control. So all we need to do is use the color picker to select the color we want and then refine the amount of that color by using the range slider. Super easy. 
So unlike in its infancy when Luminar Neo was first launched, nowadays I pretty much use it exclusively for my own personal editing, my creative editing, and all of my landscape work that I really want to finesse. However, in terms of my professional work, I am still using Lightroom for one thing, and that is catalog organization. And that's because Luminar Neo's catalog is super basic. Well, that is until now. Finally, we've got some excellent features added to the catalog that who knows, might make me rethink my professional workflow. One of the most exciting new features is the AI Smart Search. So we can type directly into the catalog something we're looking for. So for example, mountains, and Luminar Neo is intelligently gonna search our photos for objects that match our search, in this case, lambs. So it's a really intelligent way to find particular photos without you having to keyword those photos. So here we have a load of wedding dresses that it's found. So it does have really nice practical uses. You could set up folders for particular genres, such as birds, and then just find and drag all of those photos into one collection. Beyond that, we've got many enhancements throughout the catalog. One of the key ones is to do with how we actually visualize the thumbnails. Here you can see we've got quite a minimalist view, but we can actually have a drop down and we can change that from the current minimalist view where we see the file name and then we can go into a detailed view where we can also now see a star rating as well and more information about the file. So finally, we get to actually rate our photos and add star ratings. You can either do that through the menu itself and assign a star rating or we can do it through hotkeys as well. And another big advancement is the ability to filter via metadata. So embedded data from our camera. So we can search by specific cameras if we wish to. And then beyond that, we can come in and we could choose focal length, ISO, aperture, shutter speed, things like this. So practical use for this would be to search for all your high ISO photos and apply a preset that reduces that level of noise. And when you're finished, you can just reset your filters. Oh, this one's super exciting. <laughs> we now have the ability to sort and organize folders and albums. It's pretty basic at the moment, but finally we're able to do that. And you can also create a custom order for your folders as well. So while I'm really excited about the addition of yet another really creative tool to Luminar Neo, the color transfer tool, sometimes it's the more basic features that just improve the usability of the program that I get more of a buzz out of. And it's one of those things that they've added. And the guys at Skylum haven't really made much of a fanfare about this at all, because for them, it's just, oh yeah, just a little thing that we probably should have added. But for me, it's actually a big deal. Finally, we have virtual copies available to us. If you don't know what a virtual copy is or why I think it's a big deal, let me explain. Let's say you edit a photo and you want to create an alternate version with a different process on it. Usually you would have to duplicate that original photo, therefore doubling the memory usage on your computer. You now have two separate files and now you can go ahead and edit that second version in a different way and you've got both. With a virtual copy, the second copy you create is just a virtual reference. It doesn't physically make a new version, but it allows you to process in a completely separate way. And you can do that as many times as you like. And it's a really great way for you to explore new creative possibilities with your editing without affecting the original that you might be happy with. And when I was a wedding photographer, I relied on this week in, week out when I would have my 500 wedding photos all in color, and then I would just replicate all 500 as virtual copies and turn them all black and white. So my client ended up with a color set and a black and white set. And any extra memory it took up was teeny weeny. So when will you be able to get your hands on this big full update? Well, it's currently scheduled for mid-October, but Skylum will announce a more precise date closer to the time. Hopefully I'll have access to the beta copy towards the end of September, beginning of October. But as soon as I do, I'll put together a video for you showing these updates in action.
While Skylum are known for creating excellent photo editing software, unfortunately, they are also notorious for very convoluted pricing structures. And so not everybody is gonna be automatically entitled to this update. So let's break down who's entitled to this update automatically and those who aren't, what you need to do. In true Skylum style, they are going to be running an early bird promotion. I will put a link to that in the description below. I will also put a discount code as well, which you can use in addition to that early bird pricing. The most simple situation we've got is if you have a subscription to Luminar Neo, you will be automatically updated to the Big Four update as part of your subscription. So if you're a brand new customer and you're going on to a subscription, you will get that update. However, if you're a brand new customer and you choose the lifetime license option, you will also be updated to that new version as well. Also a nice thing is Skylum are doing a backdated grace period. So anyone who purchased Luminar Neo as a lifetime license from the 1st of July, you will also be eligible for this upgrade for free. If you're a current lifetime license owner and you purchased prior to the 1st of July, you have an option to get an upgrade pass for 2024 to 25, and that's gonna give you access forever to all of these new features, including all the previously released pro extensions. So things like the HDR merge tool, pano stitching, focus stacking, if you don't have those, this is gonna be a really great option to actually get you into using those tools. Furthermore, that pass is also gonna allow you access to all the generative AI tools as well until January the 1st, 2026. If you're unsure about any of that, what I'd recommend you do is use the link below, log into your account, and that will generate the best price based on your individual situation. Now, for those of you out there who just think I'm part of the Luminar Neo rah-rah fan club, that can be further from the truth because oftentimes I'm brutally honest about Luminar Neo's shortcomings and I've been very outspoken about how poor I found the Gen AI technology, especially when you compare it to the likes of Photoshop and I've been using Midjourney a lot and that stuff is mind blowing. So I really felt that the Gen AI technology was kind of lagging behind in Neo. So I'm pleased to say that that is also getting an overhaul in this new update. And while for the most part this update looks exceptional, I did say at the beginning that there was one thing that I felt that they've really overlooked here. And that is one of those simple things that I've been requesting for so long, and that is to merge down our layer stack. And no, it might not sound much, but it comes into that same sort of category as the virtual copies. It's something that I just feel is fundamentally necessary and missing from Luminar Neo. So this is me begging to the developers that in a future update, please, can we see merge layers. Other than that though, this is looking like an exceptional upgrade and Luminar Neo is just going from strength to strength. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.